Hello, this is a uh, vintage tuner, Pioneer TX710L, AM FM synthesized tuner, as they call it. This was the first generation of uh, digital tuners from Pioneer, and uh, this particular model was made from 1980 till 1981 and cost $260. The version 710 was without uh, medium and long waves and cost $250. Dimensions are uh, classic Pioneer 420mm uh, is the width and uh, 96 is the height and um, 254 is depth and weights are only 3.1 kilos and uh, this is the um, obviously the uh, the cheap consumer markets uh, model. Um, it's a uh, it uh, nice uh, aluminum fascia and metal metal sheet, but the bottom is a uh, yeah, wooden hardboard to uh, save some cost. Uh, why this is called synthetized tuner? It is because it's got two synthetizer ICs which you tuning the radio. Uh, compared to our um, first uh, Pioneer digital tuner uh, TXD1000 which has uh, got uh, quartz lock IC uh, this is the front first tier of the tuner uh, this is the power switch with positions on and standby when uh, the switch is set on on position the power is supplied to the tuner's main circuits uh, the unit power switch is geared to select in the transformer secondary and uh, so even at the standby position the unit circuitry will work as long as the power cord is connected to the power outlet. For this reason the programmer broadcasting station will not be erased. When it is assuming it's been disconnected the broadcasting station will remain programmed for about three days. And then it has a power indicator it's just a small LED and it comes on as soon as uh, the switch is set on a signal indicator here it's uh, 1 to 5 and it in indicates uh, the strength of uh, the signal FM stereo indicator that's the little LED and so uh, this indicator is on as long as uh, the unit is receiving uh, FM signal then it that's a uh, frequency display, it's fluorescent digital segmental display and it indicates the frequency of uh, tune station. Let's turn uh, the volume a little bit up so we can hear what's going on. So it is uh, uh, auto R uh, and mono. When you have a lower signal, you can switch it off and get a uh, lower uh, signal to noise ratio, but you lose the stereo. Then uh, it has uh, uh, a button uh, which you call FM local switch, and this selects uh, stop uh, for auto tuning. And now, uh, when the button is depressed, when you tune in the stations, it, it will it will tune really strong local stations. Then we have a memory switch, uh, which uh, after after tuning the the station, now uh, you press the memory button and then you press uh, the button one to seven, uh, and it will save the station. And then we have buttons uh, function, FM and AM. And when you when you switch the button AM, then you can further uh, switch it for uh, medium and uh, long waves. Let's try to tune some stations. I'm not really sure if we actually be able to get any stations. 
Well, we are lucky. We got a station. I suppose the Sprawley BBC. So let's get back to FM. Pork scratchings. Mmm. Steak tartar dripping. Fried eggs on. Pause. He says, I'm happy. du Rajasthan et ensuite on entreprise cette route de la soie quoi donc il y a fort volonté d'aller voir ailleurs pour quelque part mieux comprendre qui je suis now uh, if I want to tune the station some local station with good signal I press local and uh, set up or down so I'm going up and this is how I tune the station and uh, it's really sensitive tuner it tunes perfectly any stations I know I use uh, dipole antenna uh, connect to unbalanced uh, connector uh, at the rear and then if I want to save the station let's say Instead of that one, I press memory button and then five. And this base has been saved under number five. If I want to save it under number one, press memory one. It's really simple. So I have here, I have that station two. And we get back to number one. So that's it, it's really simple. I have it under number one and number five. It's really simple, it's amazing to use, it's a lovely little tuner. The tuner a rear fascia has 75 ohm unbalanced uh, coaxial input. It has uh, 300 ohm twin lead um, feeder connector, FM 300 ohm balance outdoor antenna, grounds, and uh, AM antenna. I'm, I'm using it with uh, dipole or T type FM antenna. And I have actually amazing results. Next to it, to the right, we have AM after antenna, uh, which for use you want to open it up and uh, it clicks. Um, we have some right in there, then uh, we have some uh, ventilation. But the tuner is running really, really cool, so there's no problem at all. And then um, we have a power cord connector. This power cord connector is about, uh, I would say, uh, six feet long, and it has, uh, in this case, it has uh, the Pioneer X series input. Otherwise, normally you just cut it off and put normal lead on it. You just have to make sure that you uh, you connect it uh, correctly. And then we have fixed uh, RCA connectors, which are fixed in the machine. And some people tweak it and put uh, RCA outputs to it. But says I wanted to keep it uh, in original condition. And this is fairly long, but it was uh, due to. Um, intentions of designers to uh, just uh, stack it and connect it straight uh, together. So I uh, thank you very much uh, for watching my video and uh, I see you next time. Bye bye.